Samson Idris. And guess what? It's not even high girl summer yet. You know, usually women, usually they leave men around springtime. When it's about to get nice because they want to deal with hot girl summer. You know, they want to go to different countries. You know, they want to go to different states and travel with their friends and and wear scampy clothes and show their cheeks and show their back. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they usually break up around springtime. Around springtime. If you if you join and say who you are, you know to press the likes. You already know the procedure. Oh, introduce yourself. Tell me where you're from, and join the conversation. But usually, women leave men around springtime when it's getting nice out there. But Lori Harvey, she got dumped a little too early. She wasn't able to leave Damson Idris. Maybe he left her before Christmas time. He knows she's hard to please. And uh, he's he not trying to break off. He got a lot of family members. He ain't trying to break off all that money. We got uh, Irk Solo Ruler Eternal in the building. You know what I'm saying? Where you, where you from, uh, where you from, Irk? Where you from, Irk? But yeah, we are, uh, wow. <clears throat> this thing, these phones be dying quick. The devil is a liar. Let me get my charger, y'all. We got Greg Jones up in here. Much love, Greg. Much love to you. Don't forget to press them likes. Don't forget to share the live to your Facebook. I got to get this charger, y'all. This is the devil done trying to run the power out on this junk. But yeah, man, uh, Lori Harvey is fine. She definitely fine as a mug. But she's getting a lot of bodies. She's getting a lot of bodies on her, bro. She's getting too many bodies on her. Hey, yeah. So, you know, how many, who going to be next in line? Will it be, will it be Victor Wimbiami? Will it be a new ball player? Who knows? But she's getting a lot of bodies, man. And a lot, a lot of women look up to her. They look up to Lori Harvey. They look up to Ciara, Gabrielle, Jada, all these Jezebel spirits. They looking up to them. You know what I'm saying? The rebellion. Y'all know what the rebellion dance is. Don't forget to press them likes when you join. Tell me where you're from. Tell me your name. Because we a big billionaire family on here. Don't just be eyes on this, show. You got to say something. Tell me where you're from. Press that like. Share this, uh, share this link on your Facebook page. But uh, but Lori, man, she's getting a lot of bodies, man. Who will be next? Will it be a ball player? Will it be an actor? Will it be a regular dude? Who will it be? Um. So it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be wild, man. It's gonna be wild. So I'm gonna try to talk to y'all as much as I can before this phone. Sometimes this phone. The devil be making his phone get overheated and then bam. Let me get this charged. I'll be right back. Man. But yeah, man, it's it's wild out here, man. Oh Lori Harvey back single again. You know, who's going to get the cheeks? Who's going to get the cheeks next? Who y'all think going to get the cheeks next, man? Hmm? Who y'all think going to get Lori Harvey cheeks next, man? See, these... They think they got all the time in the world, but they don't. In actuality, they don't. And it's sad seeing that, man. You know, they spend the best years of their life giving that, giving that thing up to randomness. You know, women really supposed to get married at a young age. Women, 
traditionally, women got married at a young age. 17. Remember grandmothers used to have, uh, grandmothers used to have babies at, at, uh, 17. They was married at 17. And, and uh, um, grandpa was 25 or 30. He was like 10 years, 10 or 15 years older than him. Because that's how it's supposed to be. Where he got a little wisdom. You know what I'm saying? He can lead the family. He can take the church. He can discipline. And she follows. She help. You know what I'm saying? She give a little advice. But she, she chose him to be the head. But now, they want that hot girl summer, man. No, it's some good. It's some... It's some good. The devil can the devil can do a lot through good through good looking women. The devil love working through good looking people. The devil love working through good looking people. You know, so we can deal with attractive. You can deal with attractive women, but you just gotta make sure she got the interior. And uh, unfortunately, the devil. His traps don't allow most attractive people or women in general to have that interior. They have to be really grounded and come from the right. They got to be in the right mindset. They, you know, the right family helps. A lot of that stuff help, man. Because a lot of them, you know, the devil love working through influential people. The devil love working through influential people. And he love working through attractive people, you know, Rich, rich people. The devil, the devil love doing that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with dealing. We got Nick in the house. What's up, Nick? Nick Porter. You know, ain't nothing wrong with dealing with a, a, a beautiful woman, a dime piece. You know what I'm saying? Um, whatever you want to call it. Um, ain't nothing wrong with that. But unfortunately, a lot of them they get they start seeking they start seeking being addicted to attention. You know, they get addicted to the attention and they think they too good for you because they get online and dudes talking about they're going to suck the dirt out their toes. You know what I'm saying? Dudes talking about they're going to, dudes talking about they're going to do this. I'm, I'm going to fly you into town. I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy you this bag. I'm going to buy you that bag. So they, you know, they got too much in their mind. The, the mind don't suppose to, the, the, you know, their minds don't suppose to be cluttered with all that superficial thoughts and all that. They mind don't supposed to be cluttered with all that. You know, they should be thinking about God, their husband, they, you know what I'm saying, trying to get a husband, a godly man, how can she build with him? She shouldn't be thinking about, first thing, she shouldn't be asking you, now, what do you do for a living? You know, she should first find out where his heart and mind at. Make sure his heart and mind is in tune with Jesus Christ. Then, he's not going to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Of course, he's not going to be perfect. None of us are perfect, but the connection is necessary. You know what I'm saying? But Lori Harvey and many others, they ain't thinking about no man knowing Jesus Christ. They don't care about that. You know, um, Steve Harvey talk a lot about Jesus but I don't hear Lori talking a lot about Jesus how much impact did Steve have in Lori's life other than money how much impact did Steve have in Lori's life other than money don't forget to press them likes man uh, introduce yourself and um, tell me where you're from, where you're from. Um, feel free to share this link to your Facebook page post as well. Um, but yeah, it's, hot, it's not even hot girl summer. That Damson I just was like, man, it's about to be, it's about to be winter time, Christmas time coming. I ain't trying to buy Lori no new car. You know what I'm saying? He said, I can't compete with with uh, Steve Harvey. And I ain't trying to compete with Steve Harvey. You know what I'm saying? He said, I can't compete with Steve Harvey. 
And I ain't trying to compete with Steve Harvey. You know? Thanks, Nicholas. It come from God, man. It come from God. We got Greg Jones in the house. Um, it come from uh, it just come from God in discernment, man. Um, if y'all can, man, uh, try to watch the documentary um Afterlife. Afterlife. Try to watch that documentary, bro. Oh. But yeah, man, they don't. They ain't really thinking about no relationships until they get ran through. All the way through. When I say ran through, they got the note. This thing don't look the same. It don't feel the same. Then they want love. They focus is not on love. They don't want love unless... A lot of them don't want love unless fame. Um, control. Money and resources is attached to it. Some They don't always have to be... Uh, Tacoma, Washington, that's what's up. I'm going to have to visit Tacoma one day. And we always got to keep God first because all this stuff is spiritual, man. All this stuff is spiritual. The, the, problem to, the problem with relationships is spiritual. The problem with relationships is spiritual. You know... That's the problem with relationships. They don't have enough God. These couples ain't praying together. You know, the real the men, a lot of the men ain't getting downloaded by God. So they don't have the strength. You're never gonna be perfect, but if you ain't got God in you, these women ain't choosing men of God. They're not even choosing guys that's connected to God. They got a lot of fake options. Nick, Nick, Nicholas, they got a lot of fake options. They got a lot of, they got a lot of hand bone. They don't have a bunch of real men options, godly men options. They got hand bone options, meaning a lot of men would love to bend them over and say, Yinku, 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 Yinku. That's the options they got. Yeah, they don't want to follow a good man. Why would they, they don't want to follow a good man. They feel guilty. They want a dude that's worse than them so they can feel. They want to go back and forth. But girl, I cheated on him. I cheated on him. Yeah. yeah you know that dude at my work, at my job I was telling you about? I hear him talk. My ears is supersonic. Girl, you know that guy I was telling you about at work? Yeah. We was in his car talking, and I just, all of a sudden, I don't know what came over me. I just reached over there. I grabbed the hand bone, and it, it got hard. And, girl, I just I just pulled it out. It was like, Shaggy. That's all they want to do. They want to be rebels. If you're a good man, they don't want to choose. I suppose to choose the good man, I'm going to choose the bad man. I suppose to honor my father, I ain't going to honor my father. I'm going to honor the, my boyfriend that I can control. My father doing the best he can. He love me, give me the money, give me advice, tell me about God. But I want to honor and spend all my time with my boyfriend that I can control. And I don't want to see my father or honor my father. On Father's Day, Christmas, or regular days, I want to, anybody that I'm supposed to respect, I need to rebel. Any man, except the man that's on the dollar. I got the men on the dollar telling me, man, why do you act like that towards y'all? Some of you guys, a lot of you guys are great men. Why are you acting, you know, Yep. Yeah. yeah, a lot of them, unfortunately, the Prince of Darkness do got their hand on a lot of them. But it's our fault, man. We can't be weak for them. As we got the power as men. The same way Adam had the power, we can't really 
It's our fault. The devil going to work through them because he can work. He can play off their emotions. But at the end of the day, it's men's fault. It's our fault, fellas, because we can say, no, I don't care how good your body is. I'm doing what God tell me to do. I don't care how round that thing is. I don't care how plump those melons are. I'm going to do what God tell me to do. Even if I got to have blue even if I got to have blue balls tonight. We got to have self-control. We got to have self-control, fellas. We have to. You know? Because hot girl summer, man, ever since that lady told me that 88% of the women are cheating and them babies is not the, the man baby who they claiming, that goes to show you a lot of undercover. Yeah, we got to do God's will at all, at all times, as much as we can. You know, I try my best to be around, um, give my time to God with Bible study. And I listen to preachers and I need to read the Bible a little more, but I listen to the word of God a lot. But. We got letters to the flock up in here. Yeah, man. I can feel it. This is the last of something. A lot of stuff is misunderstood and misinterpreted, but this is the last of something. Sometimes it don't get it don't get better until it get worse. If you're in here, don't forget to press your likes. Don't forget to t press the like button and tell me where you're from. Introduce your name, because we are a family here. We are family. The real year and all that it be. We got Stars Galaxy up in this camp. What's up, man? We just up in here talking about Lori Harvey and how Damson Idris. Damson Idris. Yeah, new beginnings. Damson Idris. Uh, he had to let go Harvey, Lori Harvey before Christmas, man. He got it in as much as he could before Christmas. He was like, one more time. <laughs> Time to go. You know, now he's off to the next one because he got so many, so many um, ladies uh, after him all over the world because he was in that show Snowball or something. Hey, we got Hood Baller 9 up in here. What's up, Hood Baller? Main man, Hood Baller. We just chilling, man. We got Toronto up in the house. Home of the Drake. Home of the Drake. Yeah, we just talking about Lori Harvey, man, and how he, she got dumped by, um, what's his name, Dams, Damson Idris, uh, right before Christmas, before the holidays. He ain't trying to buy no no, no Christmas cars, and he ain't trying to buy all that lavish. He don't even want to try to think, what do I got to do lavish for her? Because he knows she's going to dump him anyway. If, uh, if he don't break, buy the right gift, you don't want to be with no, you don't be with nobody like that where you got to. You don't want to be with nobody like that. Well, you got to, um, and I don't know her. We don't know what's going on. But based on what, her, you know, what they saying, and I don't like to go with what people say, but let's just, like, let's, let's just say hypothetically, this is what it is. We don't know for sure. Um, but let's just say hypothetically, this is what it is. This is what a lot of the, these she creatures are doing. They act good around this time of the year a lot because they want gifts. You know, they you know they can't show they. But now the weather's been st still kind of nice, so they still able to show their bodies. Right now, at one time it was the wrap up, you know. When, but nah, they showing that thing all year round now. You know what I'm saying? And I like they. I like I love women. I love it. I love their bodies. I love it, but it, it they got they got sex toys now that look good as these Instagram girls, and they feel just like them, from what I hear. They feel just like them, so it's gonna get better and better and better. They got these sex toys for two, three thousand dollars. They look like the Instagram models, feel like them. So if it's just about bodies, we can get a doll. You know what I'm saying? 
Lord, 10 years from now, she might still look at it, but she's not going to be what she is now. You know, and don't, don't forget about the, the transference of demons. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to share these, don't forget to press these likes, man, and share, share this stuff to your Facebook posts. Share these Facebook posts, man. I know a lot of y'all ain't got the bread to donate a dollar, but if you don't got the bread to donate a dollar, at least share this to your Facebook page. Post this link to your Facebook page. Um, but yeah, man, 10 years from now, Lori Harvey, she gonna look all right probably, but, but like I said, it's always somebody out there that's gonna save her. That's the problem. They can go and be, do whatever they want all their life. Get ran through. They can do this rapper, that ball player, this actor, this regular dude, that regular dude, this Pookie and Ray Ray. They can deal with Pookie. They can deal with everybody. And still find a man that's going to say, I'll take you as you are because you still look good. And I always wanted to feel that Buyami. They can do all that. Look at Sierra. Went through 50 Cent. This dude. That dude. 50 Cent Future. And still end up with a millionaire that's like this. <laughs> Baby. Step on the red carpet. You know. And I love. I love women. I'm just saying it. It's no shame. This is the no shame era. There's no accountability and no shame. They better leave the... Uh, they better stop going to that place. They better stop going to that place because they putting all kind of boogie boo boo on their back and face. You know what I'm saying? They looking at these... They know that these people want money. You know, and they doing these... Um, those kings and those kings and princes over there are putting some nasty stuff on them, on them she creatures' faces. Yeah, less is more, man. If somebody like you, if they're attracted to you, you can buy them a happy meal at McDonald's, and it'd be like the world. You ain't gotta, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I remember a long time ago, I did all this stuff for this girl. I, we, I used to buy play tickets. Three months in advance, taking her to plays. She didn't know how to dress that well. I bought her outfits. Then we had some. We, we had a little time apart, a little break time apart. And she said her and the dude went. To, she sounded like she made it sound like it was the best date in the world. He took her to Chick Fil A. I said I can't believe this, bro. I said I can't believe this, Joe. All that money I spent. Thinking you'll, she'll be appreciative. And she seemed more excited when she told me she went to Chick-fil-A with this dude. I was like, oh my goodness. So less is more. When Kanye West said, when you try hard, you not hard. That's a real statement. That hit me. That hit me like this. When Kanye said that, it hit me, man. You know, make sure you introduce yourself. You come in here, y'all. Say something. Tell me where you're from. Share, share this video, this live link to your Facebook page. Post this on your Facebook page, the link. Um, but yeah, man, you ain't got to do too much for these for these. Yeah, don't treat, you know, do what you want. Don't be forced to feel like you got to take them to a big high-end restaurant. You see how they act like this? Ain't nothing good for them. And they got, most of them got used up, blown out Buyamis. And they got all these requirements and expectations for that used up Buyami. Half of them hair stink. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. It's a lot going on, man. You got to try to find the best, the best one you can find. You know, try to find the best one you can find. That's in the church and that's affectionate towards you and that's want, willing to follow you. Yeah. Yeah.
So, so that's how it go, man. That's how it go. But hot girl summer come around. They doing what they want. They go on these trips, man. And they, I want to be single. Even if they're not single, they single. They want to they wanna deal with these dudes out here. They get mad because they can't deal with these dudes. They want to go travel and come back to Pookie. They want to travel, get far, get all this new foreign hand bone, come back. Yeah, all you need is coffee, bro. That's all you need is coffee. If she like you, she'll watch you for hours when you play a video game. That's a title right there. That might be the title. <laughs> That's going to be a title for my next live. Um, yeah, man, they act, you know, it's not the pride. They got used up. A lot of them got used up, Buyami. They leaving the good guy for the silliest reasons. You know, the guy, who, when I say good guy, I mean a guy that's taking them seriously. Nobody's good. Only God is good. When I say, when I say good, I mean the guy that's taking them seriously. A guy that's saying, I want to make her my girl or my wife. You know. There's 100 women to one guy in Kenya? Good gracious. There's 55 million people over there. Woo! I did not know that, bro. Good gracious. They need to double up. They need to start a doubling up on them guys, man. But I don't know how much, you know, if the guys can hold down. That's the only way. That's why the Bible said in that day, there would be seven. That's why the Bible said in that day, seven shall cling to one man. Because it's not enough men for every woman to go away. All these demands they got, I'm sorry to say, they're going to get a serious wake up call in 10 to 20 years. Because that man that's 50, 60, or 70, that man that's 50, 60, or 70, he's still going to be able to get a 25, 30-year-old. Lionel Richie wife like 35, and he like 80. You know, we, don't, we got all the time in the world as long as we're still alive. You know what I'm saying? We got all the time in the world. As long as we still alive. So, but you know, you want your, you know, you want your wife early. And, and soon they're going to start making it where, you know, you can, they're going to make it normal where you're going to have, you know, guys older going to have to deal, they can be able to deal with younger. Be able to deal with younger because they said in three, what they said in three months in China, somewhere in Japan or China, there were no births. There were no births. For three months, nobody had a baby. Yo, these people, people are thinking they really only need they self in this world. Yeah, that's all they doing. That's why Pookie gets so many of them, because all they do is drink. He said, you look at on them dating sites. The most beautiful women on there talking about something. I puff sometimes. I like to puff. I like to drink. That's all they want to do. That's why Pookie over there giving them all the babies. I got two babies by Pookie, but I want a real man. I'm tired of games. You got you got two, three babies by three different Pookies and Ray Rays. You got two, you got two, the three babies by two to three different Pookie and Ray Rays. And you want me to be, I got to be the superhero? Hmm? 
I gotta be the superhero for you. I, I gotta get leftovers. The best man, I'm the best man, y'all. Give me leftovers. I'm the best man. I want leftovers. Give me that one that's ran through, that's been to Hot Girl Summer. She's been to Cuba, Jamaica, Europe. She's been all these places, but I want the leftovers. I want her after all y'all guys had her, brother. It's vicious out here, man. And you try to, a lot of y'all brothers, y'all be trying to find women in church. It's the best place to look. But a lot of them are delusional. They thinking they're going to find Jesus. You got to be perfect. You go, they want you to be spiritual. They want your credit score to be like this. You got to wait to this. To, you, you, they can't sit on your lap. They don't want to sit on your lap. You can't do it. Girl, who are you looking for? Jesus? I'm a regular man of God. I'm not Jesus. I'm just a man of God. I'm a man that's prayed to him and connected with him, but I'm not him. But you got all these unrealistic demands on me. And then you wonder why you you go to church every week and you ain't got a man. Because God said ain't God don't God don't want you to be that hard on people. You're too hard on your fellow man. They too hard. Pookie got all the days to talk to women. His diet is poor, plays basketball. They, yeah. Pookie don't really have a high drive. Believe it or not, some of these gorgeous, gorgeous she creatures, they got the same habits as Pookie. They don't even really, they have to come on to Pookie and Ray Ray. They have to come on to them because they're, Dopamine is not. Their dopamine is. Or some other stuff. They like substances. They are addicted to the same thing. And another thing. Listen real carefully on this part, y'all. Hey, hear me out. Listen real carefully on this part. By them. By them mating with Pookie and Ray Ray. By them mating with Pookie and Ray Ray. By them mating with Pookie and Ray Ray. That stuff that's in Pookie and Ray Ray body, those substances, those are addictive substances that's in Pookie and Ray Ray body. Whether it's the sick, whether it's cigarette, weed. Or some other stuff. They kissing Pookie and Ray Ray. They, they exchanging bodily fluids. So guess what? A lot of them are addicted to Pookie and Ray Ray. They are addicted to the substances that's in Pookie and Ray Ray body. They are addicted to the substances that's in Pookie and Ray Ray body. They don't know why they get a high around when they kiss him. Because he got out his pores is substances. So that's how you see girls that was pretty at one time. Then you see them a year or two later, but they don't look, they don't have that light like they used to. They got black around their eyes like that. Now I get black around my eyes because I don't, you know, I know, y'all already know I don't sleep that much. Y'all already know I don't sleep that much. You know, so I get a little black on the regular. But theirs be, they really can, you can see the difference in them, man. When, you know. Yeah, they don't look as vibrant. They don't look as vibrant or innocent as they used to. You know what I'm saying? See, the Pookie, hot girl summer, doing what you want to do, being a rebel, all that sucked the innocence out your life. All that sucked the innocence out there. Um, it sucked all the innocence out, there, out their system. All that sucked the innocence out there. You know, and then at the end, they play victim. They play victim. Oh, I thought I could love him. You know, I thought he'd appreciate. Come on, man. This guy's out here. Then they could use you too. That's real. I mean, at least deal with a pookie that's going to church. I know some good pookies. You got different type of pookies. You got the thug pookie. You got the lazy pookie. You know what I'm saying? You got the good pookie. There's a lot of pookies out here. 
everybody should have a little pookie in them just because if you care too much, that's not a good thing, caring too much. Pookie don't care. His stress level is like this. I, I, I talked to a Pookie the other day. What's going on with you? Ain't nothing, man. I just lost my job. I might find a, look for another job soon. But other than that, I'm good. Pookie ain't tripping, bro. Pookie ain't tripping. Pookie can have a long conversation without even talk about a, a, without even talking about a woman's booyami. And she's saying this little funny looking dude talking to me. And he ain't asked for no cheeks or nothing yet. He ain't trying to touch me. Let me turn this dude. Let me let me let me seduce this dude. That's how Pookie get his by not wanting it. You can get a lot in life by not wanting it. So it all goes back down to the Bible. Seek he, the kingdom of God, first, and everything shall be added unto you. Seek God first. The, seek he, the kingdom of God, and everything else shall be added unto you. It's all spiritual, man. We may be talking about this stuff in a worldly and earthly sense. But it's all spiritual. We got to give our all to God, and then we'll we'll know which one we'll get discernment on which which woman to leave. We'll get discernment on which woman to leave, and which woman to uh, and, and which woman to you know to stay around, and which one to let go. And uh, y'all already know by now that rejection is protection. Do not chase after no she creature. Do not chase after no she creature. I hope y'all downloaded my latest uh, single to um, Big World Little Allen. I don't know if y'all heard the song yet. Big World Little Allen right now. Uh, check out the song, download it. Blast it in your car. Do what you want to do to it. Um, but, um. Uh, we dealing with the devil. The devil worked through she creatures, man. But at the end of the day, we love, we love women. But we don't like the devil. So we have to be strong enough, knowing that the devil loves using she creatures as his major weapon since the beginning of time against mankind. We have to be strong enough to walk away from some beautiful. Round, thick, fat, booyami. If we're not strong enough to do that, we're gonna keep falling victim. And they gonna they gonna keep getting their egos gonna get bigger, and they gonna always disrespect us, and we gonna always get the short end of the stick. Make sure y'all follow me on Facebook too, man. At uh, Ben Goonie Magic. The links will be in the description box. After these people. I told these people I will call them after I do my live. Are y'all still there? These people calling me knowing I'm doing a live. Okay, the live is still going on. These people are nuts. They don't, they're hard-headed. I told them I'd call them when I finish doing the live, man. Apple eaters, yeah. The apple eaters, bro. Nicholas, you said it. Um, black women in Georgia versus Washington are totally different. Yeah, man. It's, it's still some good women out there. Certain areas are better than others. But, man, that's social media, man. If she's all on that social media, it's a chance that she got that brainwashing in her system. I just told him I'm in a meeting. I'm in a, doing a live. Good gracious. They just keep calling and calling. Uh, women don't realize is that each man that sleeps with gets a piece. Yeah, man, this is a spiritual thing, man. You can transfer demons in the bedroom. They don't understand that. They want a hot girl something. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. And. 
No man tell me what to do. This is my body and I can shake it how I want it. But those demons are going. Phew. Then you're taking the hair from demonic people from other parts of the world, from India. And they be like witches and stuff. And you putting the witches hair on their head. And them antennas, those spiritual antennas is getting all into the sisters. And they walk around mad and mean and don't even know why they mad and mean. Because they got that voodoo hair. That voodoo. They got that voodoo up on the top of their head. They got that voodoo on top of their head, man. So it's vicious out here, bro. Greg says, thanks for I appreciate you, Greg. Man, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate all y'all. Nick, I appreciate the hood baller. Because you know I like the ball. And I'm a ball too after the live. I'm a t I am don't know if I'm going to have time for a nap. But got to get your exercise in, man. I'm a ball. I'm going to eat me a sandwich. And I'm a ball. But, man, I'm telling you, man. We got to stay prayed up, man. Um, they getting ran through. They getting ran through by celebrities. I know some celebrities that go shopping online for they gonna shopping. They get their buddies to um to you know to go up to type of, you know go up to the best girls and say hey you want to hang out with you want to hang out with Drake want to hang out with Drake I'm his I'm his cousin you want to hang out with me and Drake bring your friends and bring your um HIV test because um and uh, you gonna have to sign a waiver saying you willing to do these acts in the bedroom and uh we're gonna need your fingerprint because we don't want to say you ain't been doing nothing so they they going yeah they going these people doing stuff now and they willing to go through the whole process just to go in there to slurp a hand bone it's an honor it's an honor for them to slurp a hand bone if you famous got money resources and then they want you, they think they're going to, they think they're going to slurp so good. They think they're going to slurp a ham bone so good that they, you're going to say, you know what? You slurp my ham bone so good that I want to leave these million women over here. Because you slurp my ham bone so good that I think I want to make you my wife. I want to make you my wife. You slurp my ham bone so good that... I want to lead those millions of women over there in Canada. I want to lead those. I want to stop dealing with all these millions of women in uh, Africa, these millions of women in Brazil, Puerto Rico, Atlanta, New York, D.C., Chicago, Hawaii. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. They quick to give it to somebody with money, popularity, but they they won't even you know. Like I said, they will give it to a godly man, a re, a godly man that's focused that will, that put God over the beauty over their beauty, because they want the challenge. A lot of this stuff is not because they like you. We got Devonte one in here. You that's the best thing you can do, Devonte, is go overseas. I would recommend you to go to Africa, brother. Bring some of them home. Go to Africa, bro. They are thick in Uganda. They are thick in Uganda. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. I think they got the best behinds in Uganda. I think I think they might got the best behinds in Uganda, for the most part. As a whole, um, you you can go to Ethiopia. You can go Uganda. Oh, you can have several wives, man. Um, soon they gonna if they're making everything else legal in America, they might well make it where you can marry more than one wife. Cause soon the Bible has been prophesied. In that day, seven women shall cling to one man. So they can be picky right now all they want and leaving all these good men. And there ain't nothing out there for them. They keep thinking they're doing better. They're doing worse. And sometimes better to them is somebody they can control. Better means different to different people.
Sometimes better to them means somebody they can control. Better to them means a man that they can control. Challenge attraction. Hey, Stars, Stars Galaxy be giving me a lot of titles. He already know I be taking a lot of, uh, <laughs> I be getting a lot of titles from Stars Galaxy, man. See, I ain't one of them people that be playing. Greg Jones say, exactly, let's do it, Greg. Hey, Greg, start a group on Facebook, okay? Hey, Greg Jones, start a group on Facebook. Hey, Devontae and Greg, we're going we gonna to start a group on Facebook, man. Start it. We're going to call it um, uh, Legalized Polygamy. Legalized Polygamy Group. Because Moses was polygamy. Abraham, this is biblical. This ain't no, this ain't no stuff that we just making up. The ancients did this stuff. Before the Roman Empire came in, everybody had more. He had more than one woman because women can't guide themselves. But this devil world, we got now we got all this world. They can make money now, but they still out of order. And every man can't shouldn't have more than one. Just the men of God, the alpha men of God. They should have more than one. Because they're gonna be the great fathers. They're gonna be the great protectors and be able to guide the family to greater heights. And you know what I'm saying? So the alpha males of God should have more than one woman. Get a woman from Ethiopia. Get a woman from get a get a wife from Ethiopia, a wife from Uganda, a wife from Kenya. Get several of them, man. You know. Let's let's start something up and a fun where we bring them, you know, we help them come over here, get them jobs, and we get, we wife them up and take care of them, man. Have babies by the motherland women, cause um. Here, all they want to do is drink and smoke here. All they want to do is drink and smoke and twerk and say, hey, challenge attraction. I like that, stars. That challenge attraction is not love. They don't really like you. They're just attracted to you because you are being nonchalant, because you probably got a girlfriend, you got a wife, you got a fancy career, you're making two or one or two or three hundred thousand a year so it's all superficial stuff uh which one had 100 wives i know solomon had like a thousand or something solomon had like a thousand or something a couple thousand a thousand wives but a lot of guys in the bible you got jacob had more than one wife abraham moses david east you saw it go. The list go on and on. It, it, you can't you can't do too much with one one woman. How you gonna start a tribe with just one? No, you got you know you gotta have like even in Jamaica, the guys be going through having babies by like twenty women and stuff. You gotta multiply out here. Um, it's not a bad thing. Okay, what's the difference between uh? We, what's up, prodigy? Hey, what's the difference between uh polygyny and polygamy, brother? I think I thought I might I might have I think I forgot. What's the difference between that, brother? To let everybody know. Solomon has seven hundred wives and three hundred. Okay, oh that's how many he had seven hundred. That's a lot. Um, uh, hey man, I. I'm doing semen retention right now, man. My, that's why y'all see me glowing. Y'all notice I got a glow. My spirit is on, my, on top of my skin right now. Because I ain't, I ain't bust a mean one in a minute. So what happens is, when you, when, you, when you hold that stuff in, man, all that, your essence go in your bone. You got your, your, your semen go in your bones and your brain and activate your pituitary gland. You become more, your spiritual self is stronger. Your body gets stronger. Your body heal quicker. When you don't bust a mean one, bro, all them nutrients is inside of you, especially if you eat healthy and drink a lot of water and you eat all them good grain cereals and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Monk mode. Well, real? Hey, Devontae, you been in monk mode like that? Well, you, it's time for you to go overseas and get that girl, brother. 
get that get that wife, man. You deserve it. You're gonna create a super child. Super children. If women not down the video chat before you meet her, don't link up with her. Oh no, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, you, you already you already know how they go, hood bowler. You got a video chat with her because um you got those Nigerians over there, bro. You got a lot of scams going on online, brother. You know, I got some family all over. It's wild out here, bro. Gotta stay prayed up. Solomon, Jacob, Abraham, David practice, which we have, which is having more. Than, yeah, all of the greats, all of the greats. Them all the people that's the great books in the Bible. Proverbs, Psalms. All of them had more than one wife. What's up, man? Eggs elements of, that's it. Yeah, man. We just in here talking about, man. We talking about how, uh, hey, you doing the right thing, Devontae, man. You's a strong brother. Salute to you. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, we just in here talking about, uh, Lori Harvey and how, uh, she got dumped by Damson right before the holidays. And how they getting ran through, man. They value going down. All those different tech of telegrani, all those different hand bones in their mouth, man. All those different hand bones in their mouth like that. Why they keep doing that, man? Why they keep doing that, man? Why they keep putting all them different hand bones in their mouth? That's telegrani. They baby gonna come out with with eighty different characteristics from eighty different men. Yeah, man. Yeah, we a family here on Real Nair Nation, bro. Man, make sure y'all share this link to your Facebook pages, bro. Share these links to your Facebook pages. Um, we got the prodigal son says I'm 300 plus day. Hey, y'all get prodigal son of uh, y'all get prodigal son a hand. The brother is 300 plus days in for semen attention, attention. That brother just salute, man. And that's why we gotta we gotta share these share this live to y'all Facebook pages to let them know all of the good things y'all doing out there. This is not about me, this is about y'all. This is not about me, this is about y'all. You know what I'm saying? We got hood baller say AC Green was on semen. Yeah, he did have a different vibe than the other guys. AC Green for the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh, we got Shizzle in the house. Hey man, that's big right there, Shizzle. Skiz Skizmite. Skiz me. He got 1,000 days with no porn. Right before. Wow. I used to I used to do this stuff. My spirit used to, I used to do this stuff and didn't know it, but y'all got to understand. Y'all got to understand. I don't drink. I don't drink or smoke. So sometimes I had to release the dragon because my, my dopamine, my, my, um, testosterone be so high. My testosterone would be so high where I had to, I had to release the dragon a few times. Um, yeah, man. Irk said there's a lot of ingredients she would be coming out with, giving it up to all those different guys. Uh, um, giving it up like she, yeah, different guys at the fast foods. Were, women don't pose to be like that. Women pose to be with one man. Even if it's a lot of women with one man. Pose to be with one man. Yeah, proud as your son up is in here. Yeah, much love, man. Don't forget to press them likes and share these share the lives on the Facebook page so them people will know what y'all doing and what we doing. And uh, and because there's a lot of guys out here that ain't that don't know what's going on. We gotta reach them. We gotta reach them brothers out there. Let them know that they need to get close to God. They need to eat right. They need to you know they got to get the sermon on know how to. How to stay away from the wrong. Because they'll drain your spiritual energy. They'll drain your wallet. They'll drain your life 
force. You know, and then they'll give you the, you know, because the devil working through them, is, to the, most of them. The devil has got their hand on them, but we have to be strong enough. Like you say, semen retention, it creates, it, it allows you to be disciplined. Yeah, I think she's going to go back to future this time too. Hey, Devontae, you on to something, bro. I don't know. If, I don't know if Ty, Tyson might have. I don't know if he did five. If if he was, if he did, I see why he was not. But I don't think Mike. I don't know if Mike Tyson did that long, because he was a celebrity. He was going through all, of, going to all them clubs and stuff. And them girls was coming at him. We got Demolacolo up in here. We got Demolo Kako. What's up? Get get show Demolo some love. Don't forget to press them likes, y'all. Y'all come on here. Let me know where you're from. Don't forget to share this video link to your Facebook page. Um, he said, did women ask you why you don't drink? Yeah, I pretend like I do. I pretend like I drink, but I don't. I put it to my lips like this. <laughs> because I don't even want to explain all that stuff to them. The best way to, to really know people is them is uh, blending in. If you stand out too much, they're they not going to be themselves around you. They're not, they not going to tell you the secrets. But if they think they can relate to you, they're going to show more who they are. So you don't never want to, um, you want to be different, but you don't want to, you, you want to blend in a little bit so they can, so you can see what's going on. Because other than that, you know, other than that, it ain't going to do nothing. Future and all those other rappers are like modern day prophets. Um, well, in a sense, but they not trying to be wives. I mean, they not trying to get good women. Because if they had sense, if these rappers really had sense, they would go to Africa and get several wives. They can get them 18 years old with tight, tight, healthy motherland buyami. That good, tight, mm, that kung fu grip with the nice hips, small waist, and just smooth back. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I'm saying? They dealing with these ran through, ran through ones from the states. Why they ain't going to Africa getting a girl? They dealing with these. They, they dealing with leftovers. And hey, we got Taylor Lewis in the house, man. Show Taylor Lewis some love. Show Taylor Lewis some love. Uh, but uh, yeah, man. Uh, it's gonna be. It's wild out here, y'all. We got to be strong. It starts uh, semen retention is uh, is is the best is the best start to do it because if you can't control your hand bone, she gonna control you. Same way she controlled Adam, the same way she got to Samson, made him cut these off. I got about twenty seven. I got about forty seven. Samson only has seven locks. Boom, boom, boom. He has seven big locks. I got like 47 of these jokes. I think maybe my last day, my last, I'm going to make seven of, before I cut them off, I'm going to make seven of these. Be like Samson, make seven of them. But uh, it's wild out here, y'all. You got to stay prayed up, man. So, man, it's a lot of them getting ran through. The girl that a man going to meet next month, Right now, she's on a hand bone. <laughs> and he's going to be he gonna be telling his boys, man, I met this bad, beautiful girl, man. She is beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I met this beautiful, beautiful. She's gorgeous, man. And all along, right now, she's all up in them. Seven is the number of it. Yeah, seven, seven is a, is, a, is, a, is a divine number. It's a that's why they say seven heaven. I'm actually born on the seventh. Uh, Nicholas Porter. It's like we got to accept this. We don't got to accept this. Don't accept it. We need enough brothers saying no. We need enough brothers saying 
No. Once you be able to control your hand bone, she ain't, them, the, the evil ones ain't got no power over you. The Jezebels ain't got no power over you. So you only going to, after that, you only going to attract that which is, um, is more virtuous, unicorn. You know what I'm saying? You know. That's, that's the only thing you're going to attract. You know, you got to learn how to control that. I used to can do better, man, but my testosterone level is so high where I be having dreams. Or I can't even say that. It'll just come out by itself. You don't want no X back, brother. Hey, Goldberg, you don't want no X back. Unless she's really virtuous and worth going back to, you don't want no X. You know, if, unless it's recent. Unless it's recent, unless she's really a good woman and she a virgin or something, you don't want. If she's a real good woman, then just go set up a dinner date for it. You know, go all out for at least one one week a month. If you think she's worth it, just you know, let her let her, let's say let's go to church together. You know, let's pray about this. I really love you. Let's I pr let's pray about this. I really love you. Let's go out to eat. I made him. You know, I'm you know. If you care about me, you know what I'm saying? But don't, just, just let her know. Don't go begging back. Don't be in the beg mode. You know what I'm saying? But just, if you think you've done something to chase a good woman away, then if it's early, then get her back. Nelly got um, Ashanti back. But, it, you know. All of me, I'm in the meeting. The devil is trying to stop. The devil don't like when we get together, y'all. Um, yeah, don't worry about that X, Goldberg. Uh, don't worry about that X. Don't forget to press like, Goldberg, man, and uh, let us know where you're from. Uh, the black brother should not take care of any other guy's springs. Yeah, that's not really our do, man. I mean, it's not our do. They need, we have to teach them to stop choosing ungodly men. We have to teach them how to stop choosing ungodly men don't choose weak men only choose alpha males of god that's connected to god that can get divine wisdom and insight from god other than that other than that um they choosing anything and then they want a real man to come save them. no they don't work like that now god forgives and all that stuff if she a great great depending on the situation maybe yeah but we have to somehow train, we have to train the young men and women on how to choose the best decisions, how to choose a mate. We got to teach them how to pray, get close to God. Oh, you got a kid by her? If, if, she, a good, if she a good girl, Goldberg, man, if she a good girl. If she a good girl, man, go ahead. You got a kid by her, man. Go ahead. You can try to get back with her, bro. Just um, tell her go to church with you, man. Tell her go, go to church with you. You know, let's just do this family thing, you know. You know. Tell her let's do this, let's do this family thing, you know. Send her a t-shirt with a picture of y'all together. Say, look, man, let's get out. You know, let's start this family thing back up. Let's go to church and let's go to dinner. You, if you got to add God in there, man. If you don't add God in there, man, he, God can't help you. So you gotta add God in there, bro. I don't know how stubborn she is. I don't know how, I don't know how um, stuck in her ways she is. If she like got her mind made up, but try to, you know, try to get her back, man. Try to do something sweet. Invite her out to dinner. Go to church or something. And, uh, hopefully you can get your your family back. You and your kid. So yeah, go ahead and get her back if you got a kid. I don't, I don't know how old the kid is. So. Yeah, a lot of a lot of a, a lot of guys get kids by women that without having, you know, without marrying them and stuff. Um Yeah, I think Nelly left her first. Oh, you got a newborn? Yeah, go up. yeah, you can go you can stay with her, man. You can try to stay with her. If you love her, you you got a newborn with her, get her back, man. How you mess up with her? What you did you cheat? What happened? 
she she saw a number in your phone or something. But uh Telling them don't call me and they calling me. I keep telling them don't call me and they calling me, Joe. I told them I was doing it. Fuck hard hit. I notice when a semen retention, I'm in a spiritual realm more. I know. Cause I ain't I my body produced a lot of semen, bro. And uh, and I feel like I'm glowing right now. You need to let you you don't even need that much sleep. But if you exercise and do semen retention too, you're gonna release a pheromone. You're gonna release a that pheromone gonna come out and gonna make women wanna be all up on you. Take my word for it. If you ain't bust a mean one in a long time and you go out there and play some basketball or go jogging, you're gonna you're gonna be very become very attractive to them. You're going to become very attractive to them. Yeah. That's how it's going to go, man. Trust me. Yeah, man. So we got to we got to watch out for these Jezebels and we got to we got to help our daughters. We got Julian football in the house. Julian, for what? What are some of the ways, uh, Julian? Because them pheromones are strong, man. I'm, I'm just realizing that women can smell your pheromones, bro. Y'all know we mammals, right? We human mammals. Women produce milk, so we give off that semen coming out of pores, man, and they just it just be in the air, and a woman don't even know why she like you. So then you wonder why some of these guys. Like Pookie and them don't why they be getting them because they releasing pheromones because they got low drives because they getting their dopamine from smoke and from drink and from other substances. They not getting their dopamine from the Yinka. Yinka Yinka. Thirsting for girls can be a man's down. Yeah, it can. But some guys got a high drive. Like me, I got a high testosterone drive. Um I got a high drive, bro. Uh, but uh, but you gotta control it. You gotta control it, man. Cause I know my drive was so strong, my body was so intense, man. During puberty time, man, brother stayed in the bathroom for a long time. <laughs> you know what I mean. But if you can with, if you can hold it, man, you can withstand it, bro. You do become powers. You do uh, you do get powers, bro. You get mental powers, spiritual powers, and all that by controlling your hand bone. If you can control your words and control your hand bone, it ain't nothing you can do. It's supernatural strength, supernatural supernatural wisdom. God can use you. So many things you can do that's spiritual. Yeah, that yinka yinka, bro. Uh, women, uh, women can sense um a lot of stuff, bro. That's that the scientists don't even know. Women can read you very well. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. So that's why the devil like getting into them because he know they can read well. So they know just how to bring you down. They can figure you out. And some of y'all guys are so strong-minded and y'all just got so much strength mentally. She say, look at you in one second. Nope, you're not my type. But guess why? Because she can't control you. Because she can't control you. You're not her type because she can't control you. This is the longest live I've done. I know we've been having so much fun talking about all this stuff, man. This is the longest live I've done. I'm going to do three more minutes. Uh, so, can women sense when you... Uh, yeah, they sense all that stuff, man. They can sense your uh, energy level. Yeah. 
But real women are psychic. They are they pick up when you really are mentally and strong. Yeah, I was just saying that. Mentally strong and they love it. They like it if they are feminine women, but they don't like it if you're mentally strong if they want to control you. It's hard to control a mentally and spiritually strong man. Some of, some of them only can trust you if they can control you. That's going to be a title right there. Some women only can trust you if they can control you. Hey, much love, y'all. Share this video to your share this live on your Facebook. If you want to donate, y'all know my cash app in the description box. Um, I don't know if any of y'all hit the super chats and all that stuff. I don't know if y'all did all that, but um, share this to y'all Facebook page, man. Um, post a link on there. Uh, we got Spider Boy in here. Just came in. What's up, Spider Boy? Much love, man. Show Spider Boy some love. He just joined y'all. He just joined the Radiant Nation. He just joined the Radiant Nation, Spider Boy. Hey, so much love to all y'all. Hood Baller, Nicholas, Spider Boy, all y'all, man. Stay tuned. I'll be doing lives every day. Um, I'm, I plan on doing like one or two lives every day now. So I holler at y'all later. Much love to you. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Watch out for the Jezebels. Stay away from fake family members, fake friends. Drink your water. Eat your food. If you want a consultation one-on-one, -on -one, message me on Instagram, Alan Reagan and Show. Make sure you're following me on Facebook at Bengoonie Magic. Everything is in the description box. I holler at y'all soon. Reagan and Nation, salute!